Richard Southern joins us to chat about a few of the day's more interesting stories. And Richard, 2021 is mercifully coming to an end. And Merriam-Webster has chosen its word of the year. What, did you have a bad year or something, Erica? It's been a rough one, I got to say. I thought 2021 yeah. would be a good one, but it was kind of rough, yeah. 2022 is going to be amazing. I'm calling it right yes, now. Yes, there be you great. go. <laughs> I hope it's so. on tape now. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, Listen, we had the word of the year la last week. It was a British publication that chose NFT, non-fungible token, mm. right? Which we're still not sure what on earth that is, right, <laughs> right. Erica? Uh, but here's Merriam-Webster, the dictionary with its word of the year. We're trusting Merriam-Webster a bit more with this one. And they chose vaccine as their word of the year. You know, when people went on the Merriam-Webster um, website, they looked up vaccine a lot. Lookups rose 601% this year over last. Uh, Merriam-Webster's word last year uh, was pandemic. I want to show you some of the runner-up words this year. They're quite inter interesting. Number two is insurrection, of course, yep. after the Capitol Hill riots, right, Erica? Yeah, January, January. 6th, yep. Infrastructure and a lot of governments here. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, perseverance. Remember, that's the Mars rover that we talked a lot about. Oh, landing. that's right. Okay. I was wondering I'm assuming where that was that's from. why. Yep. Yeah, uh, nomad. We talk a lot about digital nom nomads, people that, you know, work wherever they are, right? They travel a lot. Oh. Uh, cicada, that was a big thing <laughs> in the summer, the big cicadas, yeah, right? Yeah, the, the invasion of the cicadas, yeah. Right. Uh, Meta, we had Facebook rebranding and woke, which, of <laughs> course, is the definition is alert to injustice in society, especially racism. Those there are your you words of the year, Erica. Yeah. Okay, and it appears winter will be a little less fashionable, apparently, in North Korea this year. So apparently everyone in North Korea has been copying Kim Jong-un's uh, leather jacket, which he likes to wear. What do you, is that a good look? You think, Erica? <laughs> it, it's a look. <laughs> it's definitely, I, thinking, I, need he's a, I need a new a look for the winter. Look. Yeah. You, you think I could, you think I could uh, rock that? I think that? you could rock that. Yeah. Okay. And you'd be allowed Nobody's, to here. <laughs> well, you, you hit, yes, here in North Korea, nobody can rock it anymore. Kim Jong-un has banned citizens in North Korea from wearing a leather coat. He wants that signature look for himself. You know, it used to be only the elites that could afford leather uh, in North Korea, and that's still the case. But merchants there have imported faux leather. So everyone oh. and their dog was like getting a, a le leather coat, and Kim Jong-un didn't like that. So he's banned Shouldn't it. he be flattered, though? People would just want to be like him. He's setting the trend there. Maybe not, I, think I guess. so. Okay. What about the haircut? He's got the signature haircut, too. Yeah, He's not that, betting that. that, too. <laughs> okay, a few, no. uh, finally, a few dozen people spent three days snowed in inside a British pub. This is such an interesting story. They had some pretty interesting company, Richard. An Oasis cover band yeah. was snowed in with... How many times can you hear a bad version of Wonderwall, I wonder, Erica? I, not, you know what? That is the perfect place to be snowed in and the perfect people to be with, I think. It's, it's honestly, I'm not even joking, it's my dream to be snowed in a British pub. Yes. That would be amazing. <laughs> 61 people, Erica. 61 oh, wow. people stranded for three nights at the Tan Hill Pub in Yorkshire Dales. This is the highest elevation pub in Britain. I think a lot of bad weather from the game at Friday. Yeah. Yes, an Oasis cover band has been there. They've been keeping the uh, the group serenaded. Uh, they, a, the pub manager, not surprisingly, says the guests are in really good spirits, Erica, probably because sure. they've been drinking a lot of spirits. It's a good cover band. He's got Liam Stance and everything. Nice. All right. Uh, <laughs> Richard, thanks so much as always, and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers to you, Erica. Cheers.